Hybrid Elastic, everything you wanted to know, the truth. Its properties, its strength, what it'll do and what it won't do. How strong is it? What will it break? Let's look into it and find out. So, we get a lot of questions uh, through our social media platforms, through our YouTube channel and Facebook, um, asking us about elastic and the braking strains to match up with lines and elastic, which I'll be quite honest with you, when I first started getting asked that, when we started selling the zip elastic, it kind of threw me a little bit because it's not something I'd ever considered about matching the strength of the elastic to the strength of the line, almost like a rod line rating which people have which is a sea fishing and low fishing thing that's come into angling a little bit and people say is this an eight pound class rod i think people are trying to uh, align that with elastic and hook lens and what i think people are thinking is that will that line break with that strength of elastic well it got me to thinking what is the property of elastic we talk about it in a, a rating which is a size of 10 to 12 or 12 to 14 that sort of thing and as experienced anglers we kind of know what power that's got but i wouldn't say that we try and match that up with a breaking strain of line so there obviously is um, some science to all that so we want to break that down for everybody and what we're going to do is a set of uh, experiments if you like we're going to do some analysis of elastic and line and the strength of them what sort of uh, weight you get when you're pulling on them what sort of breaking strain line that will stand um, the stretch you know the multiple length of stretch how far it goes and try and give you an insight into what we found by analyzing what became your simple questions so we can give you some answers so one of the first little experiments we'll call them experiments but it's not it's just us messing around on bank but Let's hope we get some technical facts out of this. So one of the first things we're going to do, we've anchored a set of scales to the floor and we've connected to that a nice piece of strong mono and then we've attached this elastic to that. So what we intend to do is have a set length of elastic, which I'm going to decide is 1.8 metres, which is enough for the one piece top kits that some manufacturers sell. So if we do that consistently across all the sides of elastic, we're going to pull them against some scales and see what a a set measurement which I think is going to be around 9 or 10 meters and I'm going to stop there and try and read the scales and we'll go through the elastics and see what readings we get on there which will give us an idea of what a set amount of stretch on various elastics reads on a set of scales who knows let's let's see test number one Michael here we go proof, what we got what elastic we got proof on the pudding this is the four to six zip so, so we've pink. got them attached, yeah, here he is, pink, 1.2 millet. I'm going to grab, so our connector with the length of the scales against the start of the uh, tape measure, plus a bit of line, etc, etc, has got us to 400 mil. So 1.8 metres, on top of that is 2.2 metres. So I'm grabbing the elastic at that, I'm going to hang on to that, wrap it on my fingers, and we're going to set off. Down there, down the tape, see how far we get. And I'm going to read the scales. Pull to... I want to say nine metres until I get a bit of a feel for it. M might be ten. And I want you to look at scales and see what we get. Okay, so off we go. So Michael's off down there. Got a bit of tension on. Bit of tension. And I'm, so I've stopped at ten metres because I can actually feel that. So it's a nice ten metre pull. I'm going to hold it across the ten metre mark. What have we got, Joe? So you're at ten metres there, are you? Ah. Right. And I can feel it pulling. It's... Right, so you can feel some tension there. And yeah. It's one pound four ounces. One pound four. Of pressure. So I've got... 9.6 meters of elastic out and of the end of my pole in essence aren't I really yep taking up off the 400 mil would you say that's bottomed um i don't know let me go let me go another bit further so i'm going to pull a bit out it oh that's digging in there yeah that's well that's shot you can tell it's bottom because the pressure's gone up to two pound four there has it really that's a massive jump a massive increase two pound eight i managed to pull it to 11 meters and so from what i thought was quite a, you know i've got some strain on it i've got another meter what do you reckon what we got two pound eight we've got there two pound eight brilliant that surprised me joe so because you've managed to put two pound eight worth of pressure on that's i mean that were tight you know it's i've got it wrapped around my fingers pulling quite tight yeah 
But it doesn't really mean out yet, does it? Because we that's do. the one elastic. So if we do it over set measurement, compare the next one up, mm -hmm. and we'll go through the elastics and see what we get before we jump to any conclusions, because I'm not sure if that's a lot of pressure or not a lot of pressure. I felt like there was still a little bit more give in the elastic, which means that we probably wouldn't be at two pound eight breaking strain line. I don't think we'd be snapping his line there. I think we'd just, because we get a bit of flicks in his pole. Let's see. Test number two. It certainly is, Joe. Sorry, so bro. we're hooking up with what some people might call a traditional connector. What people like them, I think they're secure, they're safe, they're strong. They don't Simple, let, aren't they? They don't let you down. Simple. Well, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Anyway, that's for another day. What elastic we're going for? So this is the six to eight zip yellow. Mellow yellow. Is here, look. That's I'm off. So it's already moving up much faster than the previous grade. So I'm saying, Joe, that feels like the other one did at 11 meters. That's biting into my fingers. So I'm going to just stop bouncing. What so we that, got? That's 11 meters, is it? That's Same. a 10. Where I started, okay, where I started so at the first one. Give or take, that's about two pound four. Of pressure. So that's an extra pound. Egg, exactly an extra pound of pressure. Right. Joe, I'm saying I'm not getting to 11 metres. Oh. That's biting in. What right. we got? So you've got to two pound, 10, 211. And that's done, is it? That's digging in my fingers. That's digging in. And I'm at 10.3 metres. So they were only a little bit more give. Whereas the other one, got to 10 metres and I felt like there were a lot more stretch but of course one's a 4 to 6 this is a 6 to 8 let's see if there's a pattern there mm -hmm. yes test number 3 we're up to the orange yeah which is the 8 to 10 I've just got to pull this little connector apart so I would say that this is a lovely winter early spring F1 style elastic yeah I would imagine 0 10 0 12 line this time of year I'd be thinking that most people would probably be looking to put this sort of elastic in the pole, but I hope they have more <laughs> success than me. There you go. And obviously it'd, be, it'd probably be good for light carping, like a good all round commercial elastic yeah. for the colder times, I'd say. Yeah, it's... Eight to 10. Yeah, it's probably top end of silver stuff. You know, um, be all right if you were bagging on them, but... 18 hooks, 0 that kind of stuff. Yeah, F1, small carp. Should there we go. see what pressure. 1.8. I'll see you up there. Going so up. I'm back here at 10 metres, and that's interesting because I'm just getting to 10 metres and it feels like even more pressure at 10 than the previous. Which well, it's funny because it's only actually giving me two pound of pressure, that. Wow, what's going on there? Right. Oh no, it's shooting up now. What's happened there then? I'm you at, moved? I'm at 10.3 metres. So you're at 10.3 and it's gone up to two pound 12. Okay, so I'm coming back to 10 metres, Joe, in case we'd not quite got... What are we at there? 10 metres? One pound 10. That's odd. And then it's just shot right up to one pound 10 there. I'm at... Are you at maximum there? 10.5 metres, and that's nipping. What are we on? Two pound... I'm going to say two pound 10. Two pound 10. Two pound 10. So I'm not a massive increase... Over the yellow. That's interesting. Now, of course, here's a bit of a technicality for you. So, 1.2 mil is the thinnest elastic, then it's 1.4, then 1.6, which is exactly the same increase in diameter as a percentage. That's not as much as it, because 0.2 of a mil over 1.2 is less than 2 mil, 0.2 of a mil over 1.4. Hmm. So, that kind of makes sense. So, what we're saying then, that the yellow and that one, are actually not too dissimilar. Very similar in, in what they're reading on scales. Yeah. Which is mm. interesting, isn't it? Very, you, very. You would think it would be quite a considerable power. Well, what we thought was um, it to be um, proportionate. So every time you went up a grade, you'd get the mm. similar sort of increase. But what dawned on me straight away then was that it's 0.2 of a mil increase as you go, but not necessarily as big a percentage as, as a percentage Necessarily. yeah yeah easy for you to say so this is your carp 10 to 12 start of your f1 yeah bagging on f1s carp shallow a lot of people use it for that because it's soft enough you know so that you can get them in this one out of your peg but it'll power up and you can commercial catch big weights yeah minute. yeah all right so you go off so get your length here i am 1.2 
I'll see you down there. The pressure is being applied. Now I'm at 10 metres and that doesn't feel anywhere near as tight on my fingers. No, you've only put in on a pound of pressure there. Now then. So we've like, it's a bit of a, in the graph, we probably, no, we're not drawing graphs. We're not that technical. I'm going a bit further, Joe, because I've, it's got, it's got plenty more to it's give. Got more to give. Yeah, I've passed 11 metres. Right, now it's starting to I'm now up. at 11.3 and that feels similar to the previous two at 10 metres. Yeah, just over two pound, you put two pound two at that. Okay, and it's still got some to go. Yep. Cranking up now, you're cranking up. 1.9, 11.9 metres. That's three pound of pressure. And I've got to 12 and that's starting to get, so there's like an extra two metres of stretch. What we got? Three pound. Right. So. Pick the bones out of that then. Ah, well, <laughs> all I can tell you, because let's not get too scientific, is when I got to 10 metres, it didn't feel anywhere near uh, as, as tensioned, there wasn't as much pressure on the elastic as the previous two at 10 metres. Is that because it's thicker, therefore it's got more to give? Same length of elastic, bear in mind, which is what you have in your pole, which is what you're trying to create. But we got to 12 metres, there was no way I were getting to 12 metres with the other two, mm. the previous two. So, we're, we're applying similar amounts of pressure with all the elastics we've tested so far. Yep. Well, it's just different distances that are applying that pressure. So you're putting the pressure on at different points? Yeah, yeah but by going to 10 metres on a mall initially, first run, 10 metres, we're getting a reading and the first one, I think there were quite a bit of give at 10, we got to 11, one pound four up to two pound. Then at 10 meters on the other two, it were kinda, there were more pressure on them. And they were very similar, weren't they? All of a sudden, next one up number four, 10 to 12, at 10 meters, there were a lot more giving it. There's more elastic in there. It's thicker, volume of elastic. Let's carry on. So you've already said that, the, well, in another video, black is probably the most popular one, would you say? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Between that and the next one up the green, I would say there's more people go fishing in the summer and this is a brilliant summer elastic. It catches everything. It's soft enough to land silvers, small carp, F1s, but, well, like I said, Phil Canning catches £300 wherever he goes yeah. and he swears by this elastic. We went up to Oldcroft um, last year with him and did a video and he was shallow fishing, absolutely empty in the lake. Um, like he does. Yeah, with great big monsters. On the black. On this black. Just close him down, You're nice and secure. Right. Because of course we're getting a bit more... Power now, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, I want to make sure it's fastened <laughs> on. Despite everybody wanting me to see me twang my fingers, I'm trying to prevent it. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, Joe. Oh, it's zooming up. It's zooming up. Yeah. Right. And that... Totally different. Hold on, I'm not even at 9.9. .9. For clarity. I'm just getting there. That's, ooh, that's 10 metres. 10 metres, and you're on three pound eight there, so that's a massive jump up to what we've had before. And I'm at 10. And you're at 10. I'm really pulling, and I managed to get it to... We've almost got... 10.2. Yeah, you're at three pound 14 ounces of pressure there. Almost four pound of pressure. Big difference. Big difference on that elastic. But, I tell you what, Joe, £3.14. Now, we'll have a look back. I think most people, even if it's a ready-made rig, most of their up lengths are £4, pound, £5. Pound, yeah, at least, yeah. £6. Well, that's incredible. And that's digging into your fingers. Well, super strength. let's just put it in perspective. Um, 10 metres, minus the top kit, because obviously we've got 1.8 metres of elastic in there. 8.2 metres of elastic stretched across the lake. It's a lot of elastic. Are most people having that much elastic pulled out? No. Probably not. So they're not even getting to these. Plus you've got your bend in your pole and all that. Yeah, they're not even getting to these levels. So Edge bagging elastic. This is the one. And Green. So what's this, 14 to 16? 14 to 16, yeah. If you want to catch quick, I'll tell you what, Joe, roll on minimal oh, contact wait. lenses. Yeah, you, I don't know how you're in the shade then either. I'm going to give you that. Thanks, John. Right. He's on. Right, so. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. 1.8.
2.2, there it is. Off we go. Off it goes. Right, this, we should see a, another dramatic. I'm saying we should. Oh. Now then, so there's, if we were drawing a graph, we'd see it because I've got the pressure on and I'm not even at nine metres. Yeah, and you're already at three pound at that. So you're already, three and a half pound of pressure, look, going up. Nine metres, that. Four and pound, that. four pound eight. Four pound eight. Well, now then, I'm pushing it to the limit. Nine and a half metres. Whoa, and you've, you're at five pound 12 at that. Four well, pound 12, sorry. There you go. Four pound 12 of pressure. And in my unscientific feedback, that was the most pressure I've had on my hands. And I only got it to 9.5 metres. Same length of elastic. Yep. So there is actually a pattern, isn't there? There is. The, the only one I would say, the, the yellow and the orange, there wasn't a lot between, was there? No, no, hardly. But the rest, there has been a, a, a noticeable step up. So if my predictions are right, this, this, is, this is the man I was thinking it. This should start being really tensioned. Like eight metres. Eight, eight yeah. metres. I'm going to say it in half, but I'm, yeah, you're probably right, actually. Eight, eight and a half. Eight metres, yeah. This whole 22 line stood up, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> So, if the pattern is the pattern, eight and a half metres, we should be, we should be feeling the strain. So this is the strong class that we do. Yeah. 16 to 18, Mick? 16 to 18. Yeah. There's plenty of giving it. I can pull it easily to 10. Right, you've got, right, okay, that makes sense. because it's 10 metres. You're at three pound four now. Three pound four. What, and you still got some to go? Oh, yeah. I've easily pulled it. Oh, my God, it's £5.4 now. To 11 metres. That's 11 metres. And I'm going to go progressively. Oh, I'm not going to yank at it. 11.3 metres. And we're at £5.10 there. 11.35. It's going up, it's going up, it's going up. 11.4 metres. And we're at about £5.15. Six pound on a good day, six pound now. That is 11.5 metres. Six pound? Yeah, bottomed out. There or thereabouts. So the fat is elastic, put six pound of pressure on. So Bottom. they have, with the exception of the two, the six to eight, the eight to 10, which were very similar until we got past the next metre, mm -hmm. they have all progressively gone up. Yeah. But in their own special way, they've all been different. But ultimately, there is uh, a strength to it. We rate it 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 14, 14 to 16, 16 to 18. But at 10 metres, they've all got 1.4, 2.4, 2.6, 3 pound, 4 pound, 5 pound, and 6 pound. That's what they'll pull to with because of course that's why I've sort of mentioned how I feel on it, what we've got. We've had to do it over a measured length to give some reference point and you'll have to take my word for it because obviously I'm feeling it with my fingers. But yeah, I think with a similar amount of pressure, slightly different strength uh, lengths, but an increase on the readings. Let's do some more tests. So I was keen, Mick, to have a feel of the actual pressure. Yeah, so you've joined me up here at the business so end. At this end. And I want to say, we're not even, we're not even bottomed here. Well, where are we? We're at seven and a half metres. And I felt if I had a fish on the end of that, I would, I would be giving him elastic on my puller. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you can feel it. I mean, have a little close-up look. You can see the strain. Yeah. Because that's obviously unstretched and that's stretched. So... Yeah, there's some power on that. That's at seven and a half metres. We've been running to ten. Hmm. You've just had a feel of this. I mean, like you said. I think what, what I want to try to get across is the fact that that, on an actual fish plane situation, you'd be thinking, right, I need to give them a bit more elastic. Yeah. And it's only ooh, putting probably like, a pound and a half of pressure on Yeah, so when you go another metre, oh, yeah. yeah, you go another metre, that is, I'm pulling its head off. But it's not. So, and we're at uh, eight, nine, nine metres, and which I think is about four pounds, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So, what I'm trying to say is that even when you are, are critical on the match and you're playing Which a car... Which is where I am now. Yeah, you, you're still only putting three or four pounds of pressure on. Yes. 
and yet we're using eight pound line, seven pound line, and getting yeah, breaks sometimes. Yeah, yeah, which is probably a point for discussion because we're here in a test situation. There's no um, reeds. There's no yeah. There's, snags. There's no. There's carp. only a small piece of line. There's no length. There's only one knot. It's gradual pressure. Yeah. There's not a wild carp on the other end making sudden lunges, but we haven't got the flexibility in the give of the pole either. We're hard up mm. to my hand. So I suppose that might negate that, yeah. but yeah, interesting. Interesting, yeah. So perhaps, Mick, the thing that caught our attention the most, people wanted to know breaking strains, didn't they? Yeah. Um, as I said in the intro, that one of the questions is, what line rating is 46, what line rating is 6 to 8? Real interesting question, because match anglers, uh, experienced pole anglers, don't think like that, because they fish the diameter of the line to suit the uh, conditions, bites, what they think they need to catch fish, and then basically the elastic does the rest of the work. It's very much a feel thing, isn't it? Yeah, you well... You kind of feel what's right, don't you? Yeah, because you don't pull to the strength of the line, and I think one thing that we'll come to later on is, does line behave differently when a fish is pulling it as to when we're mm. doing a scientific test? But let's try and find something and, out. And I think there's a big thing to say about line strengths because yes it says three pound four on the spool for example yeah but that's without a knot in it that's right this is what, two knots in it. Exactly. So what, I, what i've actually done is tied 200 mils of uh, mono this is all 12 mm -hmm. uh, and that states a three pounds four ounce or 1.46 yeah. kilos i just want to stress that we're not sliding the line if it breaks at less than that because it no, will no, because no, there's knots in it all lines will yeah. i don't care which brand yeah. which make that is a straight pull this is 200 mil with, with two loops in it. Yeah. I've put figure of eight uh, overhand loops in. 200 mil. Light because, is 46 elastic. Yeah, a lot of people probably use uh, four inch, six inch up lens. Yeah. But a lot of the pleasure lads and people that buy elastic probably use a longer one. So I've gone for somewhere in the middle, mm -hmm. 200 mil, which is uh, eight inches in all money. So I'm going to take the same amount of elastic as we've done with the other tests. 1.8 meters, which is like a top kit's worth, to try and replicate what you're going to be fishing with. And I'm just going to go steady away at uh, four meters, five meters, six meters, She's not any seven meters. I reckon most anglers are probably adding sections to the pole now and chasing the fish. Well, it's interesting because you're not even at eight ounces of pressure there. And I'm at seven meters. Four ounces of pressure. So that's 5.2 meters of elastic winging its way across the lake. Most anglers are banging sections on, chasing the fish. I can feel a bit of pressure there, Joe. Eight, Eight ounces, metres. That's all. There, and it's there gone. you go. So that's unbelievable. I got to eight metres, which is 6.2 metres of elastic. So that's interesting. The, the fact that that's gone. Yeah, that's gone at the knot, yeah, obviously. Just eight ounces of pressure. And the elastic, which is the 1.2 mil. Um, so as the elastic broke it, no, no. The amount of pressure that we've built up and we've kind of bottomed that elastic out because that's what happens. The elastic runs out of elasticity. So I'm saying that a really, really strong elastic like zip is, that takes some breaking. Mm. You're going to do well to break that. I mean, that's the interesting thing. That's so the thinnest one. This is what the breaking strain question when it comes up on Facebook is such a difficult one to answer because I think pole fishing is so much about feel and this it's just proving it, isn't it? Because the answer is I don't think there is an answer. <laughs> um, I think it's I think it's experience. You'll get a feel. You'll give a bit more pole. You don't pull as hard. I mean, obviously there's puller kits, um, and we're not even talking about hook sizes and what pressure has been put on the hook. No, know? no, it's no. Just purely and line. the fact that and the fact, Joe, that there's one thing that we're really missing out is everything feels lighter in water. You're easier to pull in water than you are to pull on dry land, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So when you've got a fish suspended in water and you're pulling at it, you've not got the resistance that we've got here. So I'm saying that this elastic will find it even harder to power up in water because the fish will move because there's nothing, it's not anchored to the floor. I mean, we've got a temp peg anchoring our scales to the floor here. We're pulling it a dead pull. So the answer is, Mick, there is no answer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, but I've tried to answer these questions for people and it got me curious, mm. which is why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, so we've moved up to the yellow. Yeah. I'm going to get assume the position. So we're, scale reader. 
we're not saying this is going to break it any easily. What we're actually saying is it's probably not going to stretch as far before it breaks. Yeah, that was... It only took eight ounces to break last time. Five metres, six metres, seven metres. Eight ounces. There's the eight what ounces. What we got on there, Joe? That's eight ounces of pressure. That is ten ounces, twelve ounces. You tied better knots this time. Pound. Interesting. Pound four. Pound six. Pound eight. Probably doing way better this time. Pound twelve. Pound fourteen. Two pound it got to that time. Brilliant. Brilliant. So of course, a bit more body in the next size elastic, isn't there? More diameter. Yeah. So has that got a bit more give? Because the thinner elastic bottoms out quicker? Maybe that's a theory. <laughs> but that got to two pounds, which is much closer to the actual braking strain. I'd say two pounds good. I would say two pounds brilliant. Yeah. Um, such a short length of line. And I reckon that it's all about the give. So I'm, I'm going to make a prediction that when we get up to the middle, we're we getting closer to two sizes. pounds, probably. There'll be more give in the elastic, therefore we'll probably get equal. We probably won't get much further. I don't think we're going to get to three pound, of course, no, because no. three three pound four ounce line probably is going to break a lot less with knots in. So this is eight to ten, is it? The pink. It is, yeah. Orange. Steady away. Right, let's get back on them scales. Four, five, six. See what's going on? Seven, eight. Only just feeling the pressure. What's that? About twelve ounces? No, eight ounces. There you Probably go. a bit over nine ounces. Yeah, getting up there now. This is stretching to nine meters. Nine. There's a pound. Nine point three. Nine. See so that one only got to a pound four. Now then. So was that middle one an anomaly? Who knows? Who knows? That's broke on the bottom knot. Is that yellow the sweet spot for that line? There's an interesting thing. I'm going to let you decide that. Maybe there is a breaking stone for that. Maybe that yellow is the sweet spot for 012, who knows? Yeah. Well, I'd be interested to analyse these myself later when we've got a little minute, but... Um, did that break at a similar breaking strain to the one below it? No. Uh, Sorry, the one below that, I mean, the original the, the one. The pink was eight ounces, that got to about pound four when it broke. That's right. Pound six, maybe. Then we got to two pounds. We got to two pound four, I think it was. Yeah. Me. One of the best bits of advice um, I was ever given, the best advice I was ever given about um, cutting your line wasn't from another angle, it was from a dentist. Because there's a great groove in my teeth <laughs> where I keep biting it. So we're on the white. 10 to 12. Which is a lovely colour, isn't it? Oh yeah. 200 mil. Right. Off he goes. Five, six, seven. I'm going to tell you when I think that's at 12, eight ounces, about there. It's just about, yeah, just about eight ounces. Yeah, just a bit under. That's at eight meters. You can kind of you get used to the pressure on your it. hand. Eight and a half, 8.89. Steady. Feel that coming on. I can feel the weight coming on, Joe. 9.5. 9.6. Again, pound four. Pound four? Wow. Wow. So either that middle one wasn't, that yellow one was an anomaly, or that was its sweet spot. Yeah. It's up to the viewers to decide. Tell us what you think, viewers. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> well, you've asked the question. We're trying to give you the answers, but. So I think we've got, did we get a bit further? We've got, we, we got a bit further with the white, which is interesting, isn't it? But a similar braking strain. Yes. But of course, at the business end, where I am, I felt there were a lot of power on that. So, is it that with a thicker elastic, you've got a bit more give at the normal amount of stretch? Because ultimately, you'll probably have a similar amount of elastic out before you panicked and started shipping and giving, giving the fish a bit of pull. So, 
you're in control, aren't you, of the pressure that you're putting on this elastic that, and this line. We've said it a few times now. It's that feel, isn't it? It's that yeah. feel we keep mentioning it. Yeah. And like this, this elastic, for example, the black. I don't think you'd ever use O12 with black in a fishing, real fishing situation. Would Not you? a chance. But we talk about O12. We talk about diameters, Joe. Mm. A lot of our customers, a lot of our yeah. people viewing this, still working pounds and, pounds and, ounces. and ounces. And this it would be three pound four. Yeah. As stated on the spool, anyway. Yeah, and three pound in the olden days was oh, really heavy line. Heavy line. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because not everybody fishes for carp, don't forget. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on the Trent, three pound. Oh, bagging on three pound uckling, couldn't you? You could pull the heads off. off. You'd have that as a main line. <laughs> Unheard of. I tell you what, Joe, I can feel a bit of tension on that. Right, Five we're up to meters. Eight uh, what's that? Eight ounces. Yeah, and I'm only at five meters. That's the key to this, I think. The fact that it's a thicker elastic. I've got eight ounces on at five meters. Obviously, it's the power. Six meters. Seven meters. That's got to be over a pound. Just at a pound, that is. Yeah. Did we get above a pound? No, just uh, maybe a pound and one. And I felt... A lot more pressure. A lot more pressure. So we didn't get the progressive pull, did we? Because there were a lot more power at seven metres with this elastic. I think we're kind of answering the questions here, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I don't think we actually need to put this heavy raise on, really. No, we don't. We don't. Ultimately, like I said, you should... I think you've kind of kicked this off, Joe, this point, and it is a massive point. Get a feel match your elastic to your fish don't think about the breaking strain of the line what do I need to play my fish comfortably get them out of my swim with ease not too stiff so they're bouncing around and disturbing all the other fish and splashing on the top not too soft so that you've not got elastic like spaghetti all right around your neck when you're trying to land them use it accordingly we'll offer a little guide I think we've mentioned it many times in videos about zip Use a 4 to 6 for silvers, use a 6 to 8 for skimmers, use an 8 to 10 for F1s in the winter, 10 to 12 for F1s in the summer with small carp, catching big carp shallow, 12 to 14, big carp, bottom deck, you can catch them at margins like that, 12 to 14, uh, sorry, 14 to 16, bagging elastic the green, 16 to 18, it's your powerhouse. If you want to pull the reds off, be my guest. So I'm looking up, Joe. Um, the big guns. We took a bit of a shortcut because we've been pulling away and I think what we've concluded is that it's all about how hard you pull. But just just for reference, just for argument's sake, we've, some big gear on, we've we? stepped up. So I've got the biggest elastic, which is 2.4 mil, which is a 16 to 18, and I've tied 200 mil of O20 line, seven pounds 13, seven pound 14 ounce breaking strength. And, and we knew that we bottomed this out at six pound as well, don't forget. Yeah, I felt that against my fingers, um, which haven't been rattled yet, much to everybody's disappointment. <laughs> um, but it was six pound, wasn't it? And that felt like a lot of pressure. Yeah. So, who oh no, so Let's let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So, 1.8 meters. Um, away we go. I hope we get some. I hope we get some numbers here. Eight hours. Interesting. Five, six. Steady away. Seven meters. Eight meters. Pound eight point eight. I'm feeling some pressure, Joe. Two Nine pound meters. Two pound eight. Three pound. Three pound eight. Nine point eight. Nine point nine. Four pound. Ten meters. Four pound eight. Five pound. Oh, four no, pound. Five pound. Five pound. Ten point five meters. Five pound eight. Ten point six. Six pound. Ten point seven. Six pound eight. <laughs> Six pound, oh, that's got you on it. Did I get you? Nah. Six pound eight. Nearly did. Six pound eight, I think that's brilliant. And it's gone on and not as expected. Yeah, where else would it be? But that, the interesting thing is, you must have had your porridge that time because you put more pressure on it. Well, it definitely, we're digging in. I mean, strong elastic, strong. isn't it? Yeah, so. Strong line as well. Seven, yeah, to break it, that's breaking, so with two knots in it, 200 mil is amazing. And obviously, what we've proved, yeah, the idea pull, the easier line will break, but mm. with a seven pound 13 ounce or 20 diameter line, we got, what did we get, six pound? Six, eight. 
six eight, so we're quite close to what it's stated. I think that's really um, cool. We had ten meters, ten point seven meters of elastic out. You're not pulling ten point seven meters of elastic out on a pole. Bear in mind, on a rig, you'd have three meters of line. With a bit more stretch. stretch. That's right. And of course, the elastic. Oh, good luck. Good luck breaking that. <laughs> it's not happening. I give in. So, yeah. Is there a conclusion? That's up to you. So we've put the elastic through its paces uh, with the line. We've shown you how long it stretches, how far it stretches, how it reacts with uh, line tighter to scales. So we've kind of proved that, you know, you've got to choose your elastic according to your conditions and the fish that you're catching. Uh, which I suppose just leaves one more thing to look at, which is how strong is the elastic itself? Because obviously we broke seven pound 13 ounce line we pulled but none of the elastic broke under any of those test conditions and i suppose the most important thing is you know it's uh, longevity uh, how long does it last it's a really really strong elastic and i'm going to try and break that the durability of it obviously abrasion resistance I'm giving that a good rub you can see yeah we've got a tiny little nick in it which is a good time to just try and test it and it's still not breaking even though I've rubbed it up and roughed all the edges up, which I suppose leaves one last test, which is, let's see if we can actually break it. I'll tie it to the floor and give it a good pull. So I've put the elastic through its paces, we've stretched it across the tape, pulled it to 12 metres, 10 metres. We've tried to do a comparison test. Uh, it's scientific, it's not really scientific, it's fishing isn't that way. You've got to feel it for yourself. Um, we've put it against line, we've done all sorts. One last thing is just to anchor a piece of elastic to the floor, so I've fixed a metre of the 14 to 16, looping each end, pulled it to some scales, I'm just going to see what sort of pull we get on it. So I'll just take it through, and a bit of weight coming on it. Pound, quickly gets to two, because there's some pressure coming on it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not sure if anybody fishes with that line that thick 10 11 I don't own a 12 pound up length and that's oh I can't put any further I'm leaning into that 12 over 12 pound amazing it's elastic it's strong so we've put the elastic through its paces and we've had it stretched out over a length what we tried to do is just um, reply basically to some of the queries that we've had and what we think people are looking for and hopefully that'll prove a few things disprove a few things you'll probably have to make your own mind up because my personal opinion which is how i started is that you'll feel your way into elastic try and choose the right elastic for the right fish for the right conditions if it's a bit deeper sometimes i use a stronger elastic so they can set the hook the fish don't bolt as much you know if you're fishing shallow sometimes it's nice to have a soft elastic Ultimately, do I need to worry about the breaking strain of the line versus the strength of the elastic? No, because there's a lot of giving you pull, you give with the fish, you don't pull that hard, you don't pull as hard as you think you do, and I think that is one thing we have proved, if nothing else, that, you know, we've had three pound on the scales, and I've kind of been digging elastic into my hand. So, I suppose it leaves just one thing to say, which is, enjoy fishing with elastic, don't get too up on the technicalities, Fish with it, enjoy it, go and catch some carp, go and catch some bream and just go fishing. Um, I'll leave it with you.